Hey everybody, this is Charlene with Cheryl's Crafty World. A real store re reopening on April 1st. So today I want to share with you it's What Not Wednesday. Now, if this is your first time coming to Cheryl's Crafty World, welcome. If you want to become part of our dot com crafty family, you can do that by hitting the subscribe and then hit the bell if you want to be uploaded, uh, notified when we upload. Leave us a like and leave us a comment so that we can officially welcome you to our crafty family. Hey, 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 crafty family. How y'all doing? Welcome back. We got yet another What Now Wednesday. So let's get into it because I got quite a few things to share with you. All right. So the first thing I want to show you is, you guys, I bought a bag of jewelry. It's it's supposed to be, you know, like broken jewelry or whatever. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. I'm not going to pull this all out right now because you guys are going to have to... Um, oh, look at that. That's like a hair clip or something. You're going to have to get a snack and a drink for Friday's video because I did a um, shopping spree on Fire Mountain. I wanted to share that with y'all. But yeah, we can look through here. This thing here is interesting. It looks like a snake. I don't know what that is. If that's a bracelet or a necklace, then it's these beads here. Those would be nice spacers. So turn it over and see what else we can see here got some more gold here and some pearls and sea beat stuff yeah so that's what happens when you buy these things I know um, a lot of people buy them what they call jars jewelry jars at the thrift stores so but anyway I got all that it's a pretty heavy thing so the next thing I got is these and these are Picasso Jasper beads, six millimeter, really pretty. It's gonna be a lot of plastic because they sent everything in path in plastic. This is a three pack of eight millimeter Jasper beads. These are nice. I like the the brown. I like to use the brown and the dark blues um, for gentlemen bracelets. This one is, uh, I don't know what that is, a manzanite, a manzanite, eight millimeter, perfect, and I am getting ready for my Easter sale this weekend, I might have to jump here on, you. And my Easter sale is going to be on whatnot, but I might do one on, um, YouTube too that night, um, so that you guys can order your Easter stuff, Easter jewelry and stuff from. Look at these, y'all. These are so cool. The hole, the the hole goes straight through the middle. These are so pretty. I was like, oh, those would make a beautiful bracelet. So I have some of those. And then this was like a kit that someone was selling. She gave you that beautiful. Look at that pendant. And then it came with all these red beads really nice really nice i was like that's an instant bracelet i don't know if anybody want to wear something that big but yeah it's really nice unless it's a pendant some people like this this is adventuring we got some and um, some moon i call these moon beads <laughs> because of the way they look and then this dark blue adventuring is so pretty and the paw goes on Oh, we got some cloisonne, some cloisonne beads. Does do you all see the butterfly on those? So pretty. I'm getting into cloisonne. Cloisonne. I hope that's how you say it. I don't know. Cloisonne. I'm not French. <laughs> okay, and then we got these. These are I call them. They call them donuts, but I was like, oh, those are cool. Those would be nice on a keychain, actually. Yeah, those would be nice on the keychain. And there's these here. And you can see it's bead landing. So, a lot of times people are just selling their bead stash that they didn't get around to. And this is, I don't know if this is onyx or not. 
obsidian, I mean, it, it's black beads. Hope you can see them. Sometimes it's hard to see them outside the, or inside the plastic. Pull them out for you. So, that's what they look like. They're pretty. They're like diamonds. Diamonds and then the other ones are the chips. What we call chip beads. These are nice to use in your memory wire bracelets. Some chip beads. They look really nice. Okay. And next we have Let's get some stuff out of the way here. Next we have these. And these are real pretty. Look at those. With that swirl. Oh my goodness. Those are real pretty. I never seen them like that before. And I do have some other stuff in here, y'all. Don't don't give up. I do have stuff that's not beads. Because all those crafters are not are not beaters. These are pretty. These are uh glass beads. But y'all know I do a lot of beading, so I think I that's what I usually buy on whatnot. So here we have some clear bling and I will probably be using some of these today in some of my earrings in my Easter earrings you see the pretty pink and clear strand and then these little cubes are pretty too they I think they're too heavy for earrings but they'd be nice on bracelets almost done with the bead stuff and then this was like a mix of seed beads and these beads here that look like um turquoise imitation turquoise and then i won these in a giveaway some bracelets and then i also picked up some beading wire because you always need beading wire um, these were thank you um lamp work beads were a thank you gift i don't know what i'm gonna do with these these are I have to find something to make it work. <laughs> okay, then we have these are some religious die cuts that I picked up. And I also won some, um, she made some pockets. And I won those. And then I bought this set off a lady. Uh, as you can see. All right, let me put some of the stuff to the side because it's all falling over. One moment here, you guys. Let me move some stuff so you can see it because it's all up in your face and you can't see it. <coughs> okay. Now I got some room. I probably should take it out the plastic too. But I bought this set. It is, let me take it out if you can't see it like that. It is a stamp set. Um, just, I guess this lady used to do stamping up. And so she's selling, she was selling her sets. And I saw this one and I thought it was nice. I like that thing right there. And then I also like this thing right here, which I thought would be nice in um, journals. You know, like a little, a little journal area and for those who might be interested in what it is it's frame tags and borders my acrylics premium decorative stamps okay and then the last thing I have is my friend Maria who is Maria Mussolini here on the white street selling some of her um, ruffles, her sewn ruffles. So let me open this up. And I saw this was, and I thought this would look so nice along the outside of my butterfly junk journal because it's colorful and fun. And I was like, yes, I need some of that. So I bought 
two packs of that from her. And that is what I got on what haul? On what haul? <laughs> on what not? That is my what not haul. Y'all, I gotta show this because what look, a haul on what not. Look at this pretty um washi tape that she used on there. And yes, I am going to reuse it. If you get anything from Maria, her wrapping skills are out of this world. She does outstanding wrapping. You feel like it's Christmas every time you get something from her. So, that is it for my whatnot haul today. I am getting ready to make some earrings, and some bracelets, some stretch bracelets. Actually, they're called salvation bracelets. And um, I can't wait to bring them to you guys, what's left over from whatnot. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon. This is Shirlene with Cheryl's Crafty World. Dot com. Bye for now.